Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB the Show 21. So, another no money spent. We did make some, I guess, major moves today. Maybe not major, major, but we, we did make some moves that help with the progression. So, we got collections. We also have some more team affinity done. So, let's start off with team affinity, I guess. And that is under the programs. We did go ahead, finish up the AL Central. And I'll kind of, you know, break this down a little bit. But 150 which means we have all of these guys now from, you know, the AL Central, Tim Anderson, Fran Mil Reyes, Nico Goodrum, Salvador Perez, Jose Barrios, five more diamonds added to the squad. And, you know, we're, we're just making that steady progression right there. So as far as this goes, you know, we did the Central Affinity Conquest. We did the moments for all of these. And then we pretty much did all these missions right here. So what I recently started to do, just to do these missions is, you know, put the players I want, go on a CPU game, just use them in their first at bat and then just quit out. You know, I'm not going to play a full nine inning game. I'm going to just use them, quit out. So we kind of got that done fairly quick, I would say. And I rather, I rather do missions like these than play showdown all day, every day. So that's kind of why we did that. And then we also have some collections, which we'll go right to that right now. So with the collections... I decided well, we'll splurge a little bit today. You know, I don't know if it's necessarily the smartest thing to do with a roster update coming very soon. But we did go ahead. We picked up Jose Abreu. So I got him. Um, man, I kind of overpaid for him. He definitely dropped in price. See, like earlier he was going for like 22k and kept going up. I kind of I kind of spent a little bit more than I wanted to. So that's all right. Like I'm not I'm not too worried about stubs. I feel like we've done well with our stubs so far. And if we lose maybe like five to 10,000 over, overpaying on players, I don't really care that much. But we got Paul Canerco also, which actually has really nice hitting attributes. So another diamond added to the squad. And then we also did the Indian. So yesterday I did pack Shane Bieber and I sold him, you know, because that was a duplicate card. So with that, we pretty much bought Jose Ramirez. And he's going for 27k. So I think I actually got him cheaper. I got him for around 26k. So not a big difference. But we got Jose Ramirez, which means in the, you know finished up the Indians. Got this Cliff Lee card. Has good stamina, hit per nine, K per nine. Kind of bad in my opinion. But nine, 92 walk per nine is really good. And then his pitch repertoire. Not not bad, but not my favorite, I'll say. So with getting those two collections done, and that also helped with the team affinity progress, because I think the White Sox gave us six points, and then the Indians gave us six points. We are actually now done with the AL Central. So we pretty much unlock Bob Feller, our first, I guess, big diamond. I mean, is it our big diamond? I mean, he's he's. I think he might be our highest rated. I don't know. But 93 overall, Bob Feller. Has 118 stamina, 90 hit per nine, 108 K per nine. Those are those are really nice numbers. 48 walk per nine, kind of low, but maybe if I can get pinpoint pitching down, like a player like him, he could be really nice. Got the 98 fastball, 80 12 6, 86 slider, 82 changeup. So I do like that pitch repertoire, but we might as well collect him, right? You know, get that Bob Feller card. So that's our first division completed. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was looking at Trout. I was looking at Trout. I was like, mm, maybe maybe I want to pick him up before Friday because Friday, there is a roster update. If he gets upgraded, like he honestly might go up to 400K and that's, that's something I don't really want. But Mike Trout, definitely a player we're looking at. And then, you know, Chapman from the A's. I think, I think he might get downgraded, but he goes for 17K. Like if I get him at 17K, I don't think it's that big of a deal. He's not really hitting that well right now. So I don't really know like how, how big or small the roster update is going to be on Friday. But typically for me, like I think Wednesdays and Thursdays, especially before roster updates, worst time to buy cards. Fridays are normally the best time to buy cards, like live series, and maybe like Mondays or Tuesdays. Probably Tuesdays. Like whenever packs come out, that's when you want to go ahead and buy cards because people are packing stuff and, and selling their diamonds or duplicates. But we got one division down. And we got five more to go. We're definitely going to do the American League first. So, you know, I think I think that's the main focus. As far as the East goes, actually, we just need we just need the Yankees. Yeah, we just need the Yankees, the A's, and the Angels. 
So we do have the stubs for it, but I kind of want to see how things play out. Plus, we got to have some stubs for the first inning program. So I don't really want to go like all out. And these guys right now, they're going for 35K. So we buy all three of them, then that's what, like 100K? I'm, I'm fine with that. But we just have to keep that in mind that like 100K is going to these bosses. I'll probably buy them on Friday. I'll probably buy those guys on Friday, I think. And then I think that's it as far as that. Oh, also, you know, we might as well just go off in the program. We did get the Houston Street card. So we finished that up. Good bullpen guy to get. Free card to get also. So if you if you need XP for the program, you definitely want to do that. But Houston Street, I think, is a solid bullpen arm. The moments for him are pretty easy. And I played the CPU game to pretty much get that done. So I think that's two pretty big things that we just knocked out, you know, with Team Affinity. Now we just have the AL West and NL West. I'll probably get these done by Saturday because the main focus right now for me, I think is going to be BR because, you know, we're trying to get this little, little program done and we got two days to do it. So the next pretty much two days, we're going to grind this out so we can get Solaire because that's 48k stubs and then these guys they go for 70k stubs that's really gonna help us out for no money spent because that's a good amount of stubs right there so that's pretty much it for what we did today and then what we are going to be doing the next couple of days but since we finished up team affinity we do got some packs so we got two show packs three balling is a habit 10 team affinity packs and then three al central packs we got a gold perk because we were using our diamond dynasty or our ball player in diamond dynasty and then the central the unlockables and gold equipment so let's just start off with this these are all contact huh so all contact i'm pretty sure eventually you get all these so i don't really care about that we'll open up the gold equipment i want that back rip mm, no back rip that back rip normally goes for like 5k so that would have been nice that's not a bad gold one i guess i mean 300 stubs is 300 stubs so al central I mean, right now, these are just duplicates since we finished up the collections. So we will definitely take these stubs. And minus, um, minus what? Minus the Bieber I sold yesterday. I don't think I went through and sold any of my duplicates. So we didn't really have that much stubs. I think we spent like 50 or 60K to pretty much get Ramirez and Abreu. So that's where like we lost stubs, I guess. But we're in a good spot still. Let's see. Show pack. I don't know if we're going to pack a diamond. This might be like the first time we don't pack a diamond in an in episode in a while because our streak's been pretty hot but we'll have to see we got the al central so the last one we got to get from this is good drum all these cards you know they definitely look pretty nice uh perez is going to be a solid catcher i think barrios we used them a lot in the event but barrios could be solid for us but obviously we got to take good drum right there that's the last pickup now i guess we go team affinity let's go team affinity i don't think i've packed a diamond yet from team affinities so maybe these 10 right here, a little bit lucky for us. But then again, you know, we've been pulling a good amount of diamonds. So I guess I can't expect it every single episode. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you got a crazy pack look. This is like the first time my pack look's been semi-decent. So hopefully, you know, hopefully this is the year we pull Mike Trout. That's all I want, really. I just want to pull Mike Trout. I've never pulled Mike Trout in like the six, seven years of Diamond Dynasty. So <laughs> one day one day that's gonna that's gonna happen one day that's gonna happen we're just getting a lot of silvers though so these team affinity packs are definitely not good definitely not good oh man i mean still we'll we'll get some stubs back from these but just a lot of bronze players i feel like those balling as a habit are just gonna be gold cards too but the team affinity big time bust big time bust right there might as well open this up too so we got the twins there and then the twins here also and that right there so three balling is a habit packs can we get a diamond that's all we want is a diamond from the balling and no diamond in the first one paddock duplicate right there so i guess we're selling that and then the next balling a double golds mm. turner duplicate again and albies actually we don't got him so at least it's not a duplicate but still you know a thousand six hundred stubs we end up getting and it's gonna be up to the last ball as a habit pack see if we keep that little diamond streak alive probably not but you know if we do we'll definitely take that at least give us double gold Ooh, a silver is that good <sighs> no diamond today kenley jansen 
And another card we don't have though, so still filling up the collection a little bit. But yeah, the packs today, not really that good. But still, you know, we are, we're in a good spot. You know, we finished up a full division finally. Got Bob Feller and Trout, 348k. Definitely have my eyes on him. You know, we could maybe do the American League East. You know, finish up Aaron Judge and the Yankees. You know, we got to pick up Garrett Cole. Those are the other big guys right there. So I think on Friday, we'll definitely look at, you know, maybe completing some more collections. But before that, I don't think, I mean, tomorrow we're probably not going to do anything, to be honest. Maybe some more showdown. Maybe do another Team Affinity set or just grind out Battle Royale. But let's see. Freeman, Freeman's 39K, Sal's 32K. I already, I already knew I made a mistake when I made that choice. You know, Sal versus Freeman. But, you know, it's just a few stubs. And plus, we're going after the whole American League first. So we wouldn't have been able to complete the, uh, the National League if we got Freeman, and especially the Braves. At least we got a collection reward when we picked Sal from our Live Series Choice Pack. And then other collections, you know, a lot of these cards, I think over time they're going to dip. Last thing I want to see, actually, is these 42. Mm, man, why is Hank Aaron so cheap? And why are y'all going for 60K? Oh, no. That's a, that's a no-no. I wish I had it. Wow. People are, people are going to make these cards super rare, huh? We might have to pick up that Hank Aaron card soon because I don't know. Like, the one thing I'm hoping for is because the servers have been kind of, <laughs> not kind of, they've been pretty spotty. You know, I'm hoping they just give everyone a free 42 series choice pack and then like these prices just tank. That's that's literally what I want. But if these prices are up there, it's going to be a while before we will be able to pick up like Jackie Robinson, that that 99 version. But that's something that we definitely will do at some point. We just got to we got to manage the stubs a little bit more. But I do think, you know, by Sunday, we might have like another collection done. We should get those first inning bosses and then. I think we have like another, we might have like another 100 plus K coming in. So I think, I think we're going to be fine. We'll probably be around 600 K by the end of this week. And maybe if we get lucky with some diamond pools, 700 K, you know, but that's going to do it for this one. More of a shorter one. But like I said, we made good progression, get collections done. Also finishing another team affinity set. So let me know how you guys are doing. And if you guys opened up any packs today, let me know if you guys got anything good. But until the next one, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.